British Virgin Islands. Why visit the British Virgin Islands? The British Virgin Islands, or BV for short, are among of the Caribbean's most secluded and underdeveloped islands, but this just adds to their allure. The resorts, villas, restaurants, and other tourist attractions in this paradise are recognized for emphasizing modest luxury over expanding growth, and they attract wealthy visitors who like sailing and privacy. Many visitors arrive by ferry boat from another Caribbean island, especially as some find affluent exile too difficult to enjoy for more than a day or two. Some recommend splitting your time between here, the neighboring us Virgin Islands and Anguilla to the east. Others find more than enough to keep them moored only by these 50-plus islands and Kays, which were cruelly devastated by Hurricane Irma in September 2017. Travelers will still be able to see signs of the hurricane's devastation, despite the fact that the BV has done an admirable job of rebuilding. Tortola has towering cliffs and chalk-white beaches, as well as shifting tides and calm easterly breezes. A short sail away, tranquil Jost Van Dyke provides delectable Caribbean cuisine and drink, one of the greatest New Year's Eve celebrations in the region, and a few outdoor activities like diving and fishing. The baths on Virgin Gorda is possibly the most scenic beach in the British Virgin Islands, and with good reason. It has fascinating grottos hidden among massive granite rocks, but be aware of the day-tripping tourists. Try Anegada for ultimate isolation. Its sluggish pace, flat topography, and beautiful beach are nearly unnoticed in the Caribbean Sea. The British Virgin Islands are one of the area's best sailing attractions, offering excursions and cruises that go from island to island. Many people also prefer to cruise to prominent diving locations in the southern islands, such as the Rams Rhone. The beaches in the British Virgin Islands are very beautiful, particularly on Anegada and Cane Garden Bay on Anegada and Smuggler's Cove on Tortola. Leave the sea to sample one of the island's painkiller cocktails, and don't worry, you can still wear your beach attire to any of the local watering establishments. Cane Garden Bay, Tortola The BV's hub of activity is on Tortola, and Cane Garden Bay is the center of action on Tortola. Spend the day at this northern beach swimming in the turquoise ocean, renting a boat or kayak, snorkeling along the beach's western edge, and eating delicious meals. When the sun goes down, Cane Garden Bay comes alive. There are lots of happy hours, and live music wafts from nearby hotels with bustling bars like Quito's Gazebo, Elm, and Mietz. Moreover, chances are you'll be dancing. Cane Garden Bay has gotten wonderful reviews from recent visitors. They're especially impressed with how fast the town recovered following Hurricane Irma, noting a number of open restaurants and pubs, as well as the option to rent jet skis. However, others claim that the relaxed ambience of the beach changes when the cruise ships arrive. Avoid going while a cruise ship is in port. See the BV Ports Authority website for specifics. Or plan to arrive early in the day to get a nice location on the sand. White Bay White Bay on southern Jost Van Dyke is one of the nicest beaches to unwind with a drink in hand. White Bay, which is close to Great Harbor, practically all of the island's bars and numerous oceanfront houses and villas, is usually always bustling with activity. Many independent yachts and boats dock in the sea, with passengers swimming or dinghying to shore. The beach section has lots of space for visitors to lay down their towels or set up their chairs to sunbathe, whilst the bars have a more chaotic party atmosphere. Local establishments such as Soggy Dollar and One Love Bar and Grill serve cheaply priced burgers and bar cuisine, but they also serve very powerful beverages. Request a painkiller, a mixture of coconut, pineapple, and orange juice drowned in black rum and topped with nutmeg. According to legend, this cocktail originated on Jost Van Dyke. Recent visitors said the sand was the softest they'd ever felt, and the beach was one of the most beautiful they'd ever seen. Travelers report that as more people arrive for the day, there is clearly a party feel, and others advise that it may not be the greatest place to bring children. White Bay is free to visit, and the majority of visitors arrive by boat or catamaran. If you aren't taking a private or shared trip, you can get to the Jost Van Dyke through a succession of boats and cabs from the ferry terminal. The Baths Wading among the multicolored coves and granite rocks of Virgin Gorda's The Baths is without a doubt the most memorable experience you can have in the British Virgin Islands. It's the must. See destination of the British Virgin Islands, according to both tourists and specialists. Massive, smooth, ash-gray rocks of varied sizes emerge from the crystalline waters of the sea, creating a sort of maze for tourists to wade or swim through.
Climbing through the bath's fissures and grottos isn't difficult, but the granite rocks may be slippery. Therefore, swim shoes or sneakers are recommended. Once you reach Devil's Bay, the stunning beach clearing at the end of the rocks, you'll find shallow, clear waters perfect for a little light snorkeling or restful sunbathing. Visitors consistently admire the baths, describing the natural marvel as beautiful and the beach as pristine. Although there are several picture options at the baths, some visitors advise reserving space on your camera for a few images of the bath's cathedral room. A natural pool within a tiny cave. The baths are located at the bottom of a hill on the southern end of Virgin Gorda. There's a moderately priced restaurant at the top of the hill, appropriately known as Top of the Baths, and a refreshment stand and lockers located at the base of the bath. There's a $3 fee for adults and $2 fee for kids ages 11 to 17 and younger to access the baths. Kids age 10 and younger get in for free. When is the best time to visit the British Virgin Islands? The greatest time to visit the British Virgin Islands is from September to November, before the winter vacation throngs arrived. Though the fall months have the most precipitation, they also have some of the lowest hotel prices of the year. Keep in mind that hurricane season lasts from June to November, so if you're planning a summer or autumn visit, keep an eye on the weather. Divers should plan their vacation for winter or spring, as summer is the poorest period for underwater visibility while sailors should aim to come in March, during the BB Spring Regatta. A boat is the greatest way to navigate about the British Virgin Islands. There are no direct flights from the United States to this island chain, thus many visitors fly into Cyril E. King Airport Steep in St. Thomas and the United States Virgin Islands and then take a ferry across. You might also take a connecting flight to Tortola Airport is from Puerto Rico, St. Thomas, Antigua, or St. Mayartin. Once situated, you may find yourself back on the water, ferrying or sailing amongst the several islands that comprise this archipelago. To get around larger islands like Virgin Gorda or Tortola, you should hire a car or use a cab. The top hotels in the British Virgin Islands based on a survey of industry awards, hotel star ratings, and user ratings. Gold badges were awarded to hotels that scored in the top 10 of the best hotels in the Caribbean. Silver badges were awarded to hotels that scored in the top 30 of the best hotels in British Virgin Islands. Hotels that come following ranking hotels are ordered by hotel class and then by TripAdvisor user rate.